Hi, in the previous video, I left you with three problems to solve using limits by factorization method. So just a recap, um, we use limits by factorization when by substituting the value of the point at which we want to find the limit in the expression, we get zero by zero. So if you substitute one here, this is one, this is minus two plus one, it's become zero and the denominator also becomes zero. So this is zero by zero. So hence, factorization method is applicable here, right? So what we do in factorization method, we factorize the numerator and denominator. Let's do that. So the numerator becomes x minus one whole square is the numerator here divided by x. You take the x common, then it becomes x square minus one, which is nothing but x minus one into x plus one. Right. So now here we have an x minus one common, which we can remove from here. And now if we apply limit x tends to one, we get this is canceled and this is canceled. If we apply one here, we get zero divided by two, which is equal to zero, which is the given of the given problem. Now let's see the second problem. The second problem that you left that we gave you is limit of two fractions, right? There's no numerator expression. There's only denominator expression. Numerators are constants. So if you apply x equal to one here, uh, it seems apparently this becomes this becomes infinity and this also becomes infinity. So it should be infinity, but we are saying we need to prove that it is equal to minus one. So clearly we need to simplify this. So now this is one minus X and this is one minus X, one minus X cube. This A cube minus B cube formula. What we get here is X square plus, plus X plus one minus three, which is this divided by one minus X cube, right? As limit x tends to one. So this becomes this. Now if you simplify this, this is this will become x square plus x minus two divided by one minus x into x square plus x plus one. All right? So which is in effect is equal to x minus one into x plus two whole divided by one minus x into x square plus x plus one. Now these two can be cancelled to give us minus one, right? Because this is x minus one and this is one minus x, right? And then the remaining expressions. In the remaining expression, if we put x equal to one, what we get is minus one into one plus two divided by one plus one plus one, um, which is nothing but minus one. So hence the solution. This is three and this is three, they both get canceled and we have minus one left. That is the solution. Now let's look at the solution for the third problem that we gave you. In the third problem, when we substitute x equal to one, this becomes one, this becomes minus one, minus one, minus one, and the whole expression becomes zero by zero, right? So again, factorization is involved, but we're saying it is infinity. So how do we prove this? So we have to do factorization. If we factorize this, this becomes, the numerator becomes x minus one into x plus two, right? So this x can be written as two x minus x, and then you take common factors, you can factorize into this, right? And in the denominator, if we just club it like this, right and see how to take the common factors then you get so we can take x square common here so then this becomes this becomes x minus 1 
and there is a minus 1 common here and we get x minus 1 as common so which is nothing but x minus 1 into x plus 2 divided by x square minus 1 into x minus 1 all right so these two are common terms and we cancel them out and then you are end up with limit x tend to 1 x plus 2 divided by x square x square minus 1 right so now if this is not of a 0 by 0 form this is not an indeterminate form earlier if you remember the original expression was evaluating to 0 by 0 form 1 plus 1 minus 2 0 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 which is again 0 0 by 0 form but by simplification we arrive at an expression which gives us a new a value divided by 0 so which is when we put x equal to 1 in this resulting expression we get 3 divided by 0 which is infinity and which is the required solution hence whenever you get a d0 by 0 form the first thing you need to see is check if there are common factors available between numerator and denominator simplify the expression and then substitute you will get the solution thank you keep watching max smart